we want to get it right. We want to ensure that uh, that our part in this investigation, that we are uh, doing everything we can to solve the case. Uh, sometimes moving fast isn't the best solution for any type of complex investigation like this. So, you know, it has taken some time. The beginning of July marked six years since Crystal Rogers was last seen alive. And last year, the FBI announced they were taking over as the lead investigators on this case. Kristen Goodwillie is here now to tell us a little bit more about what the FBI said on that six year anniversary. Kristen. That's right, Haley. It was less than two months ago that anniversary, but as you saw today, things have definitely changed. At that time, investigators told us there was nothing new to report, but they are continuing to uncover information. The mother of five was reported missing on 4th of July weekend 2015. Days later, family members found her car abandoned on the side of the Bluegrass Parkway with her keys, phone, and purse still inside. As the anniversary approached this year, family and friends planned a candlelight vigil in her honor at St. Thomas Parish in Bardstown. At that vigil, we heard from her mother. Sherry Ballard has not and cannot give up hope, praying this year's vigil will be the last. I can't stop because I don't know where my daughter is and, and I, I know where her spiritual body is, but not her. And I just need those answers and, and I need it for her kids. You know, we, we can't, we can't carry on. We can't pay respects. We can't do any of that stuff. The sheriff's office named her former boyfriend Brooks Houck as the main suspect in her disappearance, but he has never been charged. When the FBI took over last summer, they served search warrants on Houck's family properties, went through Rogers' storage unit, which had never been searched before, and told us they would be completing hundreds of interviews in their search for the truth. Now, last summer, investigators did find remains in Nelson County that they thought could have been Rogers. In July of 2020, the discovery gave many people hope a woman's body was found who's between five foot one and five foot nine and at least 24 years old. They do not have a match for those remains, but again, it is not Crystal Rogers. But the FBI is busy in Nelson County. On top of the Rogers investigation, they're also working the ambush killing of Bardstown police officer Jason Ellis and the murder of Crystal's dad, Tommy Ballard. Now they're waiting for the community to step up and help. Haley, back to you. All right, thank you so much, Kristen. And if you have a tip that could help investigators, the FBI has created a website dedicated to Crystal's case. This is what it looks like. The site is crystalrogerstaskforce.com.